Welcome to Stone House. This stunning six bedroom family home is situated in Acre, which is a tiny Victorian mill village nestled between Rising Bridge and Haslingdon. And it dates all the way back to 1861. And the plot, well, it's set in approximately a third of an acre. So beyond the private gated entrance and that beautiful sweeping driveway, there's an abundance of space. There's even an outhouse there on top of the garage, which has already got planning permission approved. And if all this wasn't enough, well, you've got Worsley Park and countryside walks on your doorstep. So when you come into this property, you can really appreciate some of the historical detail. In fact, a lot of it is rather spectacular, but this was one of my favorite pieces here. So entwined into the plaster work, you've got the initials HMW, and that stands for Harry and Marion Worsley, who occupied this property in the early 20th century. So all the rooms in this house are a generous size, as you can see from this huge lounge diner here. And there is another one on the opposite side, but I do particularly like in this room, this feature fireplace. So the kitchen dining room is a really great size and it's got a traditional finish as you can see so it's really in keeping with this style of house. To the back there is a handy utility room but there's also a staircase leading down to three cellar rooms so as well as providing handy storage right now I think there's further scope for development there. And then up onto the first floor, and as you can see, the fantastic decor and historical themes continue. And on this side, we've got three large double bedrooms. One of them's been used as a bit of a study come office at the moment, and all of them have got fitted furniture. And then we've got the large, spectacular bathroom as well. Now this section also on the first floor impressed me as well. Over here you've got some more fitted wardrobes which is underneath the staircase which is a good use of space there. And then this room here, now this would probably be classed as the fourth bedroom on the first floor. I think it feels more like a guest room and the reason for that is because you've got a walk-in wardrobe there and this one also has a handy ensuite facility. And finally, onto the top floor. So what you'll find here are the two additional bedrooms, so that's five and six. One has currently been partitioned off into different areas and the other is currently being used as a bit of a dressing room. But because there's a dedicated bathroom to this floor, there's a lot of scope to make this whole floor into the master suite. So there you go, when you're buying this property, you're buying a piece of local history and there's loads of square footage in there so it's going to be perfect for a large family. There's also actually a lot of potential in there as well. If you'd like to come and see this one, get in touch on the details that follow, we'll be delighted to show you around.